Well, good morning, folks. This is Paul with 828 Catfishing. We're down here on Lake Wiley this morning. And as you can see, it's right here at first light. So uh, I went and anchored up, got both anchors out, and was getting ready to get the rods baited up and cast out. And my front line just went slack. I thought the current, or I thought the uh, anchor might have slipped. Well, here comes all my rope up to the top. My daggum anchor cut the anchor cut the rope or something i guess on it or something on the bottom cut it one so i guess we're gonna be dragging baits today because i don't have another anchor in the boat and i can't double anchor in the lake with no current or i can't single anchor with the just one anchor in a lake it ain't got no current and the wind's gonna be blowing so i guess we're dragging baits today but that's all right we catch fish doing that I'm just gonna drag two and I've got two planter boards. I'm gonna put two out on planter boards. I've got two eight alt hooks. It's, I'm gonna run just pieces of white perch, little white perch fillets on. And then I've got two 10 alt hooks that I'm gonna put big head, head pieces on. White perch head and a river heron head here. So let me get these rods baited up thrown out boat spun around and we'll start dragging and see what we can come up with stick around all right guys i think we're hooked up on this outside planer board oh yeah fish on This might be a decent fish. That was that big old river heron head piece. He hit it like a good fish. I don't think he's that big, but he's a decent fish. Let's put it that way. Oh yeah. Nice blue cat. That gum float on my boga grip here come off. We're gonna have to get that. Yeah, guys. We'll turn around and get that here in a minute. There he is. Nice Lake Wiley blue cat. That cat eat, that blue cat eat that big old river heron head I had on there. That ain't a bad fish though. I'll take that. Skunks out of the boat. 
Let's do like we always do. Let's let him go. He gone. Guys, I've got a line right here that is swimming with the boat. They might be a fish on it. I'm getting ready to reel down and see. Ain't no fish on it. Get it back out. All right, guys, we're hooked up on the planer right here. I come on a piece of uh, a fillet of white perch. Don't feel like too bad of a fish either. That's him way out there on top of the water. Oh yeah, guys. I wish he'd go down. But I'm pulling this flat right here adjacent to the main river channel. This flat ain't very deep. This flat ain't but about 20 foot deep. Oh yeah. That's a nice blue cat. I gotta get this planter board up here and get it off though so I can get that fish to go down. I don't like them being on top like that. I need that fish to go back down. Well, that planter board's coming in with the fish. It's all right. That's what the planter boards are made to do. Come in with the fish. Oh yeah, guys, that's a nice blue cat. I was putting sunscreen on and all I heard was a daggum drag pill and turn around and look. Turned around and seen that, and I was like, oh, fired up little blue cat. I mean, oh, yeah. He's about comparable size to that first one we got.
Yeah, guys. That ain't a bad little blue cat. Now that one right there is absolutely covered in mud, though. I mean, absolutely covered in mud. But he ate that white perch anyhow. Let's do like we always do, guys. Let's let him go. Let him go and let him grow. He gone. Guys, this is a daggum pig right here. I mean, it buried that planter board and just started pulling drag. Ripping drag. Guys, the daggum wind's picked up on me. Yeah, guys, this is a daggum pig, I think. He's not a pig, he's a very fasty fish. Let's put it that away. I mean, he hit that with authority. Oh yeah. Good fish. Yeah, guys, that's a good, nice blue. Well, crap, why don't everything go wrong? That wasn't coming off. There we go. Sorry guys, I'm trying to keep the boat under control. That gum wind just come out of nowhere. Oh yeah guys. Now that is a nice blue cat right there. About a 20 pound, probably about way up, probably about 18, 18, 20 pound blue right there. He hit that planer board, I mean, buried that thing. Drag just appealing. Let's do like we always do, though. Let's let him go. He gone.
talk about a planter board getting hammered now. He hammered that. I thought it was hung, but nope. Guys, this wind is ridiculous all of a sudden. Alright guys, I think we're hooked up. Yep. It's showing. Guys, I don't know if you can hear me or not. It is extremely windy. I apologize for the wind noise. Guys, this feels like a really good fish. Nice blue kit. This one might get to keep the hook, guys.
Yeah, guys. That and the hook just a little too deep. That is going to take it with him. Let's do like we always do. Let's let it go. He gone. Alright guys, I apologize. I'm somewhat anchored up here. I tied off to the tree on a bank and put my rear back anchor out here. Trying to get out of this wind just so I can do a closing here because it has absolutely picked up. But I think I'm going to call it. I've got enough fish for a somewhat decent video. Like I said, the wind has started blowing. 100 mile an hour and you can't hide from it no matter where you go i've tried but uh <clears throat> i just wanted to come on here and thank each and every one of you and each and every one of my subscribers i appreciate it and they're helping the channel grow and i just wanted to tell you as always thanks for watching and god bless